A UN Emergency Peace Service is both an idea and an initiative to address the UN's four biggest long-standing challenges, which currently it can't manage. It's a multidimensional, meaning military, police, and civilian, and it's multifunctional. It's designed for the diverse tasks, four tasks primarily. Um, prevention, protection, rapid deployment, and addressing human needs in complex emergencies. To date, there is no capacity to respond quickly to emerging conflicts. And as a result, they tend to escalate and spread before the United Nations can even establish a presence. And the UN's response times have slowed instead of the rapid deployment that we formally expected, it now takes six to 12 months to even begin mission startup and to deploy multinational forces. It's a very slow and semi-dysfunctional system because we have to borrow from the resources that are available that member states have and all governments worldwide tend to delay when there are risks. Here we have an easy option, we can dial 911 and assume that the appropriate help will come within minutes. Elsewhere, the situation is far worse, where individuals, communities, even entire countries can't count on any help whatsoever when their sons and daughters may be actually under attack. And to date, there's been a a very strong reluctance to go toward a UN force, and that was even conveyed in workshops and global symposiums worldwide, that the notion of a UN army wasn't attractive. What's distinct is that you have a peace service specifically designed to help, rather than one, an army is usually designed to take ground and hold ground and to overwhelm and defeat an opposition. UNEPS would be a standalone entity under a operational headquarters with two mobile mission headquarters at a distinct UN base and it would be standing, a standing formation rather than the standby ones that we now have to rely on that take six months to a year to get into the field. So it would be constantly in preparation and training for an operation or deployed into an operation or in re recuperation and rest and recovery from an operation. So it, it would be consistently employed in preparing for the variety of very demanding tasks the UN currently has but can't address. So developing the means to help is, I think, distinctly critically important for the future because we're likely to see more and more overlapping crises. With, and so as a result, we're seeing 50 to 60 million refugees moving from war-torn countries over the past year. And we know that situation is not really going to improve with climate change and projected models. We know that low-lying areas are going to be very heavily hit, that the prospects of disease increase, the prospects of proliferation of arms increase, and when these are in weak and failed states, the incidence of armed conflict goes up significantly as people become more desperate. So our future isn't entirely comforting, and the United Nations should be better prepared to handle its assigned tasks. And I, I truly do believe we have to make sure that organization is ready and prepared for the future. And to date, we've left too much to too little. Worse than the six to 12 month deployment time, it also takes 
now two to three years simply to establish a UN base and mission headquarters, which is a ludicrously long amount of time. You can imagine when a conflict erupts, it's best to nip it in the bud before it escalates, spreads, and becomes far larger and more violent. Well, we don't have that capacity, and UNEPS is really designed to address it.